Now, back to Sports in the City on Sports Radio 92.9 The Game. Larisha Harris here, your host for Sports in the City. And now with me in the studio, I have Brittany Morgan and Ivory Young, who are both co-founders of this family business, Sports Connect U. How are you guys? We're good. Glad to be here. Yes. Okay, so let's talk about this. This is a website and an app that you guys have come up with. It's not launched yet. Right. But you do have a landing page that's available for people to see. But it's coming out in the summer of 2016. So that's this summer. Talk to me a little bit about this website. Right. So Sports Connect You um, is basically a amateur sports management platform and a social network. Um, so we're taking the entire youth sports community and connecting them through web and mobile. Um, a lot of people like to think of it as the LinkedIn for youth sports. Um, and so one of the biggest draws um, to um, what we're doing is the ability for student athletes to connect with college coaches. Um, so it, exposure is a real big thing in sports. You hear it all the time. Everybody's trying to get exposure. Parents are paying a lot of money um, for their kids to get seen by coaches right. from right. tournaments to um, paying the fees for the teams and numerous things that they're spending money on to help their kids um, play at the collegiate level. Well, what you see is a lot of people, they have highlight videos, they're trying to get them out. And that's one of the hardest parts. How do I connect with the college coach myself? Mm -hmm. With um, our website and our app, you're able to select any of the schools that you're interested in, click on them and send your link directly to hundreds of college coaches at once. For coaches that are interested in you, all they have to do is send you a message, message back. They can direct message you right through the app. You know, tell them that you know, tell you that they're interested, um, that they love to see you play, have you fill out you know a form or anything. Um, but you're able to do that and handle that right there on the app in real time. So before we dive a little bit more into the whole app website, because it's really cool. I want to know where this idea came from. And any one of you can answer this, but I just want to know where this idea came from. Can I do part one? Yes. I, I just, because I love telling the, you know, kind of the backstory. Um, our family, um, uh, we're, we're a youth sports family. We're a sports family. We've been doing this for years. Um, my dad right here, he's been coaching for 20 plus years. You know, we're all former coaches, athletes sports parents, you know, we're, we're really connected in the youth sports space. Mm-hmm. Um, a couple of years ago, we started an organization, a company called Hardwood Sports Academy. Um, and our biggest thing there was to help give exposure to to youth sports and people in youth sports who are doing it the right way. Um, what we've noticed over the years is the culture in youth sports kind of begin to erode. People aren't um, really focusing on the true principles of what youth sports is for. And so we wanted to do something to help change that culture. So we started going out and it's really just youth advocacy. We started going out and doing highlights of youth sporting events, giving out, you know, recognition type awards to um, people who are doing great things in the community from coaches and uh, student athletes and things of that sort. Um, We hosted a few um, tournaments in the Atlanta area, numerous things that we were doing there. And what we realized is that we really needed a large platform to really get that message out to the millions of individuals like ourselves, you know, that are in youth sports. So we knew we had to create a product or service that'll really reach those people. Right. And um, I I wanted to find a something that could help uh, the athletes uh, but at, at the same time, give us a large pro- platform so we can make a difference. Uh, one of the biggest things I wanted to do to, is make a difference. I've, um, 20 years of coaching, and I've seen a, a lot of those principles. W- one thing I've seen is that everybody, you know, everybody wants to play. Everybody wants to have fun, of course. But I want the uh, the kids and parents to understand what they're gaining even when they're not the star. Youth sports is so important. It, it, it helps you understand the roles uh, that you have in athletics. It, it relates to life, uh, it relates to business. And I want the, uh, the kids and parents to be educated and understand what's happening while they're participating in athletics. Um, so we came and I started to brainstorm, uh, laid out a sheet of paper and just started to kind of develop an idea uh, that we could use to help athletes. 
And this is what we came up with as the product that can help them. Larisha Harris here, and we're talking to Brittany Morgan and Ivory Young, the co-founders of Sports Connect U. It's a website and an app that's actually coming out this summer in 2016. This is a family business. She mentioned that this is a sports family, and they are trying to get students to be exposed and have a connection to college coaches just to be able to get their attention, basically. So... With this app, of course, parents are going to have the questions about clearinghouse and NCAA rules and the recruiting times, all that kind of stuff. Does that coincide with anything? Does that kind of cause a disconnect there? Or is it something that parents should be concerned about? No, uh, no concern there, because what, what we're doing, we're, we're not a uh, we're not like a recruiting service. Basically, we provide uh, a tool that helps the parents and the uh, athletes get their uh, video out to college coaches. One thing I've learned over the years as a as a coach, uh, helping my athletes get exposure to college coaches, uh, it took a lot of time and energy to look up information, uh, to find out who the coaches are and who I need to send my video to. And I discovered that you know we can we can save them lots of time and energy, and also help them get to the right people if we put the information together for them. So now not only do we, uh, do we have the information, but they don't have to send it to one person at a time. Uh, if they want to send it to 100 coaches, they can put their information in and send it to them all at once. So it's basically like a one-stop shop. You, If you automatically know who you want to send your stuff to, you don't have to go searching for it at all. It's right. all right there. It's all right there. So I'm curious to know how many colleges and coaches have you guys been able to connect with when it comes down to this app, just to, so people can have an understanding of what colleges will be connected with it and everything like that. So the great thing about the app is that you don't, the coaches don't have to be on the app mm -hmm. or you connect with them. So when you send the, when you send the, your highlight out, it goes directly to their email, like a regular email. Okay. And then from there, they can come on and they can direct message you through the app. So they don't have to be there already, which is the great part about it. Um, and as we grow, more of them will start using it because it'll become a recruiting tool for college coaches as well. And, you know, we were purely looking for a way to help help the student athletes. I uh, just wanted to see um, a way where we can help as many athletes as possible reach their dreams. Got you. Uh, while at the same time, understanding what they have to do to do it. Because uh, I think a lot of times you have kids out here and everybody thinks I'm going to play uh, college basketball, college football. Mm -hmm. So one of the things I want to do to reach him and say, yeah, there is a possibility, but there's only a certain percentage of people doing it. So 2%. you have to work very, very hard to get there. So I'm giving you a tool. This tool can get you in front of the coaches, but uh, before you can get there, you got a lot of work to do. So and that's what I want them to understand. So and we guys, I'm sorry, go ahead. And we provide a lot of education through our blog and our site. So like if you go to our landing page right now, um, you can click on the link to go see, go to the hype machine and you'll find tons of information about college recruiting and w different tips you need to get seen by college coaches because it's more than just sending your film. You have to do the work prior to. Um, so we talk a lot about that, not just um, your athletic development and your focus in the sport itself, but also your grades and what it takes to be eligible, those types of things. So we talk about all of that. So it's very educational as well. Larisha Harris here. And like I've been saying, we're talking to Brittany Morgan and Ivory Young, who are the co-founders of Sports Connect U. We have to take a quick break, but when we return, I want them to talk a little bit more about the Hype Machine, which is a blog that she just kind of mentioned about. Um, and more, we're going to learn more about this app. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. What's up, ATL? I'm DeKalb County Commissioner Larry Johnson, and you're rocking with Larisha Harris on Sports in the City on Sports Radio 929, The Game. Hey, have you ever had an awesome idea? You know, the kind that makes people go, wow, I'd give you $1,000 to do that if I had the money. Well, we do. We're Awesome Atlanta, a chapter of the Awesome Foundation for the Arts and Sciences. Each month, we award $1,000 with no strings attached to a person or group. We have given over $1 million worldwide. Apply at www.awesomefoundation.org or call 770-765-2931. When you played your last game and the lights go out, what now? 
Let the NHSBA help you find the answer to that question. The National High School Basketball Association is a 5163 nonprofit organization that focuses on basketball to develop in community service, academics, mentorship, and helping get to college and beyond. For more information about the NHSBA, please visit our website at www.nhsba.net or email us at thenhsba at gmail.com. NHSBA, developing winners, creating futures. I love being a part of Action Team. For more than a decade, Major League Baseball players and action teams of high school students have been working together to train and inspire the next generation of volunteers. It's one of the best feelings in the world. Just that simple act is transforming someone else's life. All-stars Giancarlo Stanton and Chris Capuano join Action Team captains to make a difference in their communities. It'll just make you feel so good about yourself. I'd do anything to convince you just to be a part of this. For more information, go to actionteam.org. Welcome back to Sports in the City. I'm your host, Larisha Harris. And in the studio with me, we have Brittany Morgan and Ivory Young, the co-founders of Sports Connect U. That's the letter U. Sports Connect U. And we are talking about a website and an app that they're launching this summer. And it's basically a way for you to connect with college coaches to get exposure. So they are serving as a liaison between colleges and high school students. And before we left, um, Brittany was talking a little bit about the Hype Machine, which is a blog that you guys have. Talk to us a little bit about that. Basically, our blog, we want to, one of the things we wanted to do, we wanted this platform to be able to reach people, to be able to help as many people as possible. Um, you're not able to do that without being able to educate them as well about the recruiting process, about what it takes to be a collegiate level athlete. Because Lord knows some people are clueless as to the work that goes into yes, it. Because we mentioned it a little bit earlier, Clearing House. A lot of people don't know about that. Right. Right. So when you go to the hype machine, um, you'll see all kinds of blogs. One of the things that we do on a regular is something called um, um, 52, um, is it 52 recruiting tips? And so that is done by um, Coach Young over here. <laughs> um, and he gives, he gives amazing tips um, on what students should do through that process from clearing house to um, the work that you have to put in to you know the the best way to do your um your athletic highlight films all different types of tips mm -hmm. like that um that you can get from there we also talk to different ex experts in the field of youth sports so um we'll talk to different you know youth sports coaches athletic developers um people in youth sports media all kinds of people um to help bring that knowledge and give perspective um and different um i guess topics issues whatever it may be in the youth sports space so, Coach, now is a time where a lot of people are gearing up for summer events such as camps and stuff like that, which is a big time for students to get exposure, especially those who are, I feel, the critical point um, in a high school career is your sophomore going into your junior year because that's the time when a lot of coaches are really looking and they're going to watch you your junior year. And if they really like you, they're going to stay with you your whole senior year. Absolutely. You know, so what would you say or what tips would you give to anyone who may be listening right now about preparing and gearing up for this summer? Um, a couple of different things. Hopefully they're already out there working on their skills. Uh, we uh, we all know the skills have to be there. But my biggest tip and one of the things I see a lot is just the way you carry yourself when you're in competition. Um, a lot of times uh, kids aren't aware of how much body language affects a college coach. Um, we, we, we want them to understand that no matter if things are going good or bad, being able to control their body language, control their emotions, um, look their coaches in the eyes and make sure they're listening to everything they say. Because college coaches, a lot of times, they know, uh, you know about your athleticism. It doesn't take them very long to see how athletic you are. It doesn't take them very long to see how skilled you are. So they're looking at those intangibles. So that's what they're looking for. So that would be my biggest advice is to make sure you control your attitude, control your body language and your emotions while you're playing in a competition. And I like that. I really do. Because I was watching a video on Facebook and the women's basketball coach for the University of Connecticut, I believe, UConn. Mm -hmm. He said that was one of the things that he looked for in his recruiting. He Absolutely. looked to see... Who was going to fight to the end? He looked at the attitude because, like you said, he notices the athleticism initially right off the bat. So I really like that. Yeah, like that. And it's everything, too, from how yeah. you 
um, deal with your teammates and, you know, during different adversities in a game, you know, are you still cheering them on? You have to sit down uh, when your coach tells you something. Are you nodding your head? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. And, and doing what you're supposed to do when a ref calls a foul on you. Do you just blow up and act crazy or do you get back and you play the game? And so just to give some examples, because I'm not sure even that people really, some of the kids really understand what that means, just to give some of those clear examples of things that you need to focus on, you know, as a student athlete um, when it comes to that. And all this is on the hype machine. Yes. Now, what is the direct connect or direct website, whatever, for students to go to? So. To see everything about this blog, of course. Um Go to, still go to sportsconnectu.mobi mm -hmm. and right there is a big link that says the hype machine. Click on it. That's the best way to get there. Okay. Let's kind of go back to what we were talking about, the app and everything yes. like that, yes. just to make sure. One more time, tell us exactly what this app and this website is going to do for high school students. So, and then for high school students, the recruiting aspect that we've been talking about, being able to connect with college coaches is probably the biggest thing. You know, that's huge. Um, but the app and the website itself, it's for everybody in youth sports. I mean, it's for parents, it's for tournament directors, it's for your club and high school um, coaches, um, and of course the athletes. So it's connecting the entire community. And what I mean by that, we have different, you can call them modules, features, or functionalities of the app and the website that help all of these groups. So one of the things it can do um, for tournaments, for example, if you're a coach or a parent or a player, you're looking for events. We have pretty much all of the, the biggest events and all the best events across um, all of what six sports that, that'll be on the app initially. Um, and you can come there right in one place and find all of those. It's easy to search. Um, and you can see the hotels and travel information for all these different um, tournaments, which is huge for parents because um, there's a lot of traveling involved. You can see hotels, restaurants, things to do um, in that area. So that's big for parents and coaches, for tournaments, for, um, for team management, being able to um, communicate with their team through the app. So not just your, your calendars and your schedules, but also push notifications to message parents, group messaging, um, things of that sort that really connects the um, entire youth sports community. Um, I think one of the biggest aspects that I think I love about it the most is the social aspect. So when I say social network, I mean, these kids, if you see today everywhere on social media, you'll see parents, you'll see kids, you see kids building Instagrams for their six-year-olds <laughs> um, just to show what they're doing in youth sports. And so this is a great way, give them, gives them another platform to showcase themselves. So as a social network, you're able to post, you know, videos in real time, not just your highlight videos, but you can have a news feed as well, or you're able to post videos and pictures in real time of what's going on with you and new sports. People can comment on it. They can like it. They can share it. Um, so it really is a, also a social media network. The LinkedIn for sports. That's it. And quick question. I'm not sure if we actually talked about it, but what sports will be included in there because you said it was six sports yeah initially included. so the initial six sports is basketball um football soccer baseball softball um and volleyball that's the initial um six sports and eventually you guys are sure we're gonna gonna out out. yeah we're gonna roll out yeah. every sport that we can <laughs> um because we want we want to be able to help everybody that we can through this app um those sports um those six sports are the largest um sports right now in the u.s so that's why we went with those first um but then we'll continue to roll out yeah make that. sure you throw in um lacrosse, lacrosse. You for know, that's, sure for Absolutely. sure that is one of america's fastest growing sports it's going and so fast I'll, now will this app be available for those who are like in junior colleges who want to kind of transfer over to a bigger school, Division One schools, will they be able to use this app as well? Yes, yes, and that's that. That will probably it'll be big for them, uh, making connections. And as I started to connect with people and talk to some of the athletes, that's one of the things I found. A lot of junior college players uh, contacted me, contacted me on social media saying, you know, um, can I use this uh, uh, to get in touch in touch with college coaches? Absolutely. Uh, so. We, we we really think it will help junior colleges as well. Junior college athletes, I'm sorry. And and the schools. They'll find some players too. <laughs> <laughs> Larisha Harris here and we're talking to Brittany Morgan and Ivory Young, Coach Young. 
Okay. All about Sports Connect U, which is a website and an app that's going to be launching this summer in 2016. They are the co-founders of this family business that they started here. Now, is there a specific date yet? Not yet. So we'll be releasing the date really soon. Um, as soon as we do, that'll be everywhere on our social media networks, on our landing page. So make sure you go and subscribe um, at Sports Connect U, the letter U, Sports Connect U dot Moby. Go subscribe as soon um, as it's available for launch. We're actually sending notifications to everyone that subscribes. So we have tons of people already subscribing. Um, and so I just um, suggest that you do the same. <laughs> and it will be this summer. <laughs> yes, 2016, summer 2016. <laughs> yes. Get ready for that. So this is your chance. It's a LinkedIn for sports. So put your profile picture up there. Go ahead and get your videos together. Go to Hype Machine. Learn how to make a highlight tape. All that good stuff so you can have it prepared for summer 2016, especially when they get the date together. And they're going to post it on the landing page. Get that together now, okay? Now, because you're going to need it. That way you can hit that button and send it to all the coaches. And before I let you guys go, just in case anybody's wondering, what are some of the colleges or some of the emails you guys have already connected with people to know so people can know exactly who's going to be on this app? Well, we've uh, loaded all the Division One colleges, Division Two colleges, uh, junior colleges, and NAIA schools. So that's where, that's where we started, those, those four divisions. So those, those uh, will all be on the app when it launches. Okay, and I want to make sure I got it right. So it's not really that the coaches have to be a part of this app. You guys are basically connecting them with the coaches in the right. schools using emails. Right. So using our tool and our platform, we're able to connect these student athletes with college coaches. So they're doing it on, that, on their own. We're providing the tool. We're providing default messaging to kind of help them out a little bit. Gotcha. Um, but they're kind of doing it on their own. And coaches will be on the app. We're also, you know, it's for coaches as well because it's a recruiting tool. Um, but they don't have to be to get the messages from the student athletes. And is will there be a cost affiliated with this? Yes. Um, the cost is, hold your horses for it. <laughs> <laughs> no, the cost is $1.99 per month or $20 a year. That's not bad at Very all. Very reasonable. I mean, if you look at the cost of youth sports, I mean, I can't talk about it enough. Parents pay $20 a head to get into one basketball exposure event. Mm -hmm. So um, if you want to talk about it like return on investment, that's real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, and, and one of, uh, I guess, 20 years dealing with youth athletes, I've seen them, you know, I, I just wanted to make sure that everybody can do it. So uh, my passion, if we're going to help people, we want to put a, have a price point where if I really want it, I can, I can have, do it with my lunch money. So, you, you, you know, everybody has $2 a month. So that's what we wanted to do for, for all, the, all the kids is make sure that they can afford this tool so it provides a level of plan for you. Every kid can't afford $1,000 to play AAU. Mm -hmm. Every kid can't do it. Um, but hopefully they'll be able to come up with $2 a month so they can get their video out to the coaches if they could only just play high school. LaRisha Harris here, and we were talking to Brittany Morgan and Ivory Young, Coach Ivory Young, and they are with Sports Connect U, the co-founders of this website and this application that's coming to you soon in 2016 this summer. Thank you guys for joining me so much and talking all about this website and app. Thank, Thank you. you so much for having us. We, we, Thank you. We, th we appreciate it. <laughs> anytime, anytime. Again, I'm Larisha Harris, your host for Sports in the City. Social media spot, head over to Facebook and like 92.9 The Game there. Go give us a follow on Twitter at 92.9 The Game. And don't forget to give me a follow as well. Larisha underscore H, that's L-E-R-I-C-I-A underscore H, so I can keep you up to date on all the latest events. Sam Crenshaw is up next. It's Sports in the City on Sports Radio 92.9 The Game. Thanks for listening to Sports in the City on Sports Radio 92.9 The Game.